It's been over two years since fires first swept through here and the rest of Australia. And while a lot's happened in the world, one thing that's remained constant is the never ending work from organizations like I4 and the Detection Dogs for Conservation on fighting to keep koalas alive. This is Billie Jean, she's our fresh scat detection dog. The work today is pivotal. We're here to look for evidence of koala scats so we can collect some samples to determine how well the koalas are doing two years post fire. Oh, yes, you did! Yes, good girl! <laughs> Billy um, sort of does her own thing following her nose. She puts her head down, and you'll notice she's found a scent when her tail goes. She'll kind of walk around to yeah. let you know that she's found something, and if she's willing, she'll drop. We've just thrown the ball to Billy to reward her for finding us uh, fresh scats, which is super important to one, tell her that you know she's done a good job. This is part of the game, and she's playing her part. Every time Billy actually finds a scat, quickly identify it, and then run to the best spot to actually catch the ball. Looking for koala scats means that we're actually getting a wealth of information about the individual without actually needing to catch or handle the animals. And this is particularly important for long-term studies that need to track their health and monitor populations and so that we can understand trends and make better decisions to protect them. Koalas obviously now listed as endangered through New South Wales, ACT in Queensland. So this work is even more critical and with further efforts and more attention given to this cause now, we're hoping that there can be more action on ground. You follow this team through this bushland and the work that they do becomes so admirable. Scaling up and down the sides of mountains, often in the blistering hot sun, sifting through bushland, looking for a tiny piece of koala poo. You know it's far from glamorous work, but it's so critical and it's crucial if we want to better understand the current koala populations we have and come up with effective plans to help save them in the future.